Oh, here we go again. Just when you thought the drama couldn't get any thicker, Prince Harry has concocted yet another masterful excuse to hog the limelight and twist the royal narrative to his advantage. This time, Harry's throwing a tam that could rival any preschoolers, with Meghan as the supportive sidekick in their latest saga. Only my family gets the royal treatment or we bail. It's a tacky plot twist in the ongoing drama that is their post-royal life, served with a side of entitlement and a hefty dose of victimhood. Let's cut through the fluff. Harry's gearing up for a triumphant return to the UK for some or other celebration of his Invictus Games. Basically, the one thing he's managed to do right since ditching royal duties for a shot at Hollywood mediocrity. But, oh, there's a catch, because of course there is. Harry's wrapped up in a spat with the UK Home Office over police protection, claiming he, Meghan, and the kids are practically in mortal danger without it. Because, you know, the UK is just teeming with dangers around every corner for the Sussexes. Meghan, ever eager to play the role of the doting wife, has previously paraded around with Harry to promote the, the Invictus Games, pretending to care about anything other than her next Vogue cover. But now, they're uncertain if she'll grace the UK with her presence. The drama boils down to Harry's hissy fit over not getting his way with the UK's home office, insisting he's entitled to round-the-clock police protection whenever he deems to visit. Harry's been moaning about this since they decided he's not the center of the universe and therefore not automatically entitled to taxpayer-funded bodyguards. His lawyers are throwing a legal tantrum, crying about unfair treatment and the lack of a risk analysis. And Harry? He's supposedly losing sleep over the terrifying thought of little Archie and Lily stepping foot in the UK without an army to protect them. But here's the laughable part. The palace has all but rolled out the red carpet saying, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Because let's be honest, does anyone really care if they come back? This whole spectacle is just Harry's latest ploy to grab headlines and play the perpetual victim, all while hiding behind his family's safety. And Meghan, oh Meghan, she's not exactly jumping at the chance to return to London, citing safety concerns. It's as if she thinks the very streets of London are conspiring against her. Please, this is nothing more than a convenient excuse for Harry to avoid dealing with his family issues face to face, cloaked in the guise of concern for his family's safety. But the real kicker? Harry is allegedly on his knees, begging Meghan to accompany him on this trip as if he can't possibly face the music alone. Their spokesperson is spinning tales of wanting to build bridges and make nice with the family, but who are they kidding? Behind the glamorous facade and the sob stories fed to sympathetic media outlets, it's crystal clear this entire parade is about clinging to relevance and manipulating public sentiment, with a heavy dose of self-pity thrown in for good measure. In essence, Harry and Meghan's latest stunt is nothing more than a tasteless bid for attention, wrapped in a blanket of faux concern and entitlement. As they continue to churn out this melodrama, one can't help but marvel at their audacity and wonder what low they'll stoop to next in their ceaseless quest for the spotlight. Prepare for more eye-rolling antics, because if history is any guide, the Sussex soap opera is far from over.